Hi everybody, Paul back again from Ballistic Blood Bullets and what better way to kick off a video than with some more Euro-Italian crime staple goodness and they don't come much better than director Fernando DeLeo and Mr DeLeo has been honoured with a second set from Rero Video and this is the Fernando de Leo Italian Crime Collection 2 boxed set edition. Very nice, very welcome. And it is an American NTSC release uh, DVD collection. There is also a Blu ray release edition of the very same set. Comes with three uh, DVD discs and three very, very welcome movies. Naked Violence, Shoot First, Die Later, and Kidnap Syndicate. Now this set does also come with a very nice, quite voluminous booklet and uh, takes us through De Leo's work and also tells us about the movies themselves all nicely contained within this boxed set. So lots of goodness, lots of behind the scenes information and detailing notes about the director, the stars and the movies. Very, very nice, very, very welcome. And uh, it is a cool collector's three set DVD, as I say. Now, Fernando Dilio, known to the crime-loving movie fans the world over, but uh, he started out life like many a famous actor or director, trying to get his name noticed, doing work here and there, and uh, Dilio started out pretty much as an uncredited writer, and uh, he was associated with Sergio Leone's Spaghetti Western Masterworks from the mid 60s and uh, worked on A Fistful of Dollars and for a few dollars more. And uh, he also got uh, credit, well, credit was due finally as uh, a full screenplay artist for the Burt Reynolds Starer in 1966, Navajo Joe, another fine spaghetti western themed movie. Now De Leo started out in movies mainly as a writer as I say and was involved in the 60s with the spaghetti western genre and his first foray into directing and producing came with a costume drama or two and a war film during the early part of the 1960s. It was in the 60s that uh, he established himself as a very competent writer. But it was not until the early 1970s when Fernando de Leo discovered what was to then define him as a director. And in 1972, he brought us Milano Calibro. Nine, and there it is in all its very welcome glory from Rero Video. Uh, very much a defining crime, Euro crime movie from the 1970s. A hard hitting, no nonsense action Euro crime flick that stood tall as one of the most significant genre movies of its type from Europe during the violent cinema of the 70s. Manhunt in Milan soon followed. And there we have Manhunt. Shortened title, full title being Manhunt in Milan. All very good. Euro crime goodness. But uh, director Fernando de Leo had 
from that point on well and truly arrived. And along with a cool co collaboration of tough movie stars was soon to become synonymous with the Euro Italian crime action movie scene. No nonsense, bad guy, ass kickers like Maurizio Merli, Henry Silva, Woody Strode, Franco Nero, Mario Adolf, and so many other recognised movie stars synonymous with this genre. But for Fernando Dilio, it started here with the movie Naked Violence. And this is the first DVD in this very welcome set. Now you'll notice that uh, they are the thin disc releases, which is absolutely fine, and they suit this set rather nicely. They fit snugly into the box set and we get more value for money because of that. So very well thought out. Now all of these movies are released in their original 16-9 TV friendly aspect ratios. So we have the proper set releases as originally intended. They all do also come in their original language uh, of Italian uh, with English friendly subtitles and I do believe that some do have optional English audio dubs as well in Dolby Digital and Dual Mono Sound. So all very nicely thought out, very user friendly and uh, very much special editions for the fans of these movies and people discovering them for the first time and each disc does come with additional bonus features, documentaries and uh, documented evidence of what uh, the crime movies were all about during this wonderful period during the 1970s but uh, of course Naked Violence came out just before that very prolific genre really kicked in. This one was released in 1969. And it's also known as The Boys Who Slaughter. And uh, it revolves around the violent world of a band of youths who kill their female teacher for what is seemingly a motiveless reason. But when hardened police inspector Liberty takes the case, matters soon escalate out of control, which is what normally happens and what we very much look forward to. So that's Naked Violence from the wonderful Fernando de Leo. Next up in this fantastic set is a real, real treat. Not only have we got a fantastic cover art, look at that mind-blowing gun barrel bullet ballistic explosion to the head. Gloriousness. Shoot first, die later. This one stars the excellent Luke Miranda a crooked cop on the take with the syndicate. Now this film is long believed to have been lost to the world and never officially actually released around the world. Shoot First, Die Later is here remastered and re-released to the world for the first time since it was made back in 19... 74 with all of the goodness just touched upon 169 friendly aspect ratio 185 to 1 Italian and English subtitles optional English language and a Dolby digital audio 
and they are NTSC Region 1 discs but as I say we are looking at the beauty of having DVD so it shouldn't be an issue for most collectors with a region plier friendly machine. Shoot first, die later. Very excited about this one. Looking very much forward to seeing that. Finally in the set, disc three is Kidnap Syndicate. Again, this one stars the really mercurial magnificence of Luke Miranda, one of the big Euro crime stars and uh, a regular with Fernando de Leo. Uh, this is his 1975 crime flick centering around a repugnant and stubborn businessman played by Hollywood star James Mason no less. Uh, Mason's character refuses to pay a ransom to a gang of kidnappers. Uh, Luke Miranda is the star of the piece here a single parent, his character, who's drawn into the kidnapping events as his son is a friend to the businessman's own child. Miranda plays the role of Mario Kalea and his character in the second half of this movie strikes back at the bad guys in what is an extreme case of brilliance beyond belief, well worth watching highly anticipated second half of the movie here. There's hard boiled action, extreme violent executions, grim situations and a humiliated victims pile up galore as Luke Miranda's character turns avenging vigilante like no other. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Very much a highlight of this set, as are all the movies uh, in this Volume 2 collection. Excellent, excellent stuff. All good, good Euro crime action movies to introduce yourself to for the first time. But uh, for fans of Fernando de Leo, this one is truly a highlight that we've been waiting for for a long, long time. And finally, it is here in the Fernando de Leo Italian Crime Collection, Volume 2. And here we have all three of the movies and all of their DVD remastered excellence. A real treat for Euro crime fans and movie fans alike. Excellent, excellent stuff. Let me please have your thoughts on these movies if you're intending to pick up the sets, uh, which I highly recommend that you do. It is also available in a Blu-ray edition. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit more expensive, but uh, this one suited me absolutely fine. Looking very much forward to checking out all of these movies, and particularly Shoot First, Die Later, the once thought lost movie from Fernando de Leo's excellent, excellent collection of wonderful Euro crime genre movies. Thanks very much for watching. Always grateful for your watching, viewing, and also your comments. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much indeed. Take care, everybody. See you all soon. Bye for now.